Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, this video is about this little window motor. Uh, this is a three coil window motor. Uh, we have those 2N355 transistors in the back here. You can see the input output of it. Um, this is a Bedini circuit, so if you guys aren't very familiar with it, this is the basic circuit. Um, doesn't really matter the configuration. If you have a wheel or a window motor, the circuit is still the same. Um, so I just have this set up for 12 volts, um, run battery, charge battery, and then my capacitor discharge circuit. Um, this motor goes right into self resonance as soon as you turn it on. Um, so we're gonna give that a go here in a minute. But um, let's take a look at the coil here. So I have a number 26 wire and a number 20 wire. The 26 wire is actually the uh, the trigger wire that feeds the transistor. So if you look, there's no timing or anything inside here. You can see the the output diodes right here. You can see the resistors. And um, yeah, it's set up pretty much identically as this. Um, just no neon bulbs. So I'm going to fire this up and you guys can see how it works. So right away this is self resonant. Um, it's not spinning at all. It just goes right into that with the three coils. Um, the output's still running good. So in order to get this going, you actually just need to give it a little spin. And um, so there's a waveform now. So this runs at 5,000 RPMs with no load. Uh, we're using right around an amp. Um, this is the basic output right now. Uh, what's interesting about this is as you load it, the amperage starts going up. The waveform starts changing. So instead of one pulse, now there's two and three. But watch the amperage as I do it. It goes up and then it comes back down. And now look at the waveform. So what we could do is uh, turn this off. Put this little prop onto here. So now we have a prop. And this keeps the motor from going too fast. So it actually like tones itself down and it goes into resonance. But it's still spinning. So let's fire this up. And you can see the self resonance. And then this will go either direction, no matter which way you start it. So we're going to go this way. And see now we're, we're using not much more than what it was running at full speed. But look at the waveform now. A lot of spikes coming out of it. And then you see the output moving much faster. So tell me what you think of this Padini circuit. Thanks for watching.